Our product and engineering teams have been busy accelerating development of the Workado platform to help your teams automate more, connect more, and deliver more for your business faster. For the month of October, we'll review some key updates that help you build automations faster and run and operate with less effort. Now, WorkBot for Slack supports multi-select menu elements. The multi-select block allows a user to select multiple items from a list of options. You can create more efficient workflows to quickly update the status of multiple JIRA issues or update the stage of multiple opportunities all at once rather than having to iterate through each one. In this example, I can quickly add multiple admins to configure team stand-up meetings organized by Standup Bot in Slack. When working on automation projects, it's common to share a specific section of a recipe with others on your team. Occasionally, you want them to review and correct the transformation or logic, and sometimes reuse a snippet. Instead of sharing a link to the entire recipe and having them search through for that particular step, you can now easily use direct links. Direct links save time by directing your teammates to the exact step, block, or recipe logic that you want them to review. Over the past 12 months, our product team has invested significantly in robust capabilities for you to build out reliable and high-performance data pipelines. Continuing with this trend and demand, we are launching a couple of exciting features that make data extracts from on-prem databases faster and orchestration of pipelines simpler. When you need to move high volumes of data at speed from an on-prem database like Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, and others, you can use the Smart Shunt feature in OPA for high-performance data transfers. This is particularly useful for migrating your on-prem enterprise data warehouse into a cloud data warehouse like Snowflake, or building high-performance data pipelines for daily extracts from transactional databases into a data lake or cloud data warehouse. It's easy to set up and scale. Whether you are building event-driven automations for business processes, ETL or ELT processes for loading into facts and dimensions, or a set of batch processes that run on a schedule, Orchestrating these workflows by managing interactions and dependencies is critical for reliability and SLAs. The new async await capability allows you to set up dependencies and order of execution. For example, when loading data into a set of fact and dimension tables, you can set up callable recipes to execute asynchronously to load data into the dimension tables, but wait for all dimension tables to be loaded before loading the fact table. This configuration gives you significant control in managing the orchestration of workflows and reducing operational efforts. As the number of automations within your workspace grows, it's important to keep track of usage against your plan. The automation dashboard makes it easy to quickly view usage at a glance and drill down into the details. The new plan usage panel on the right gives you an overview of the number of billable recipes and tasks left in your plan in real time. Click to access the subscription plan page, which includes the renewal date, number of recipes, on-prem agents, and other add-ons included in your plan. The usage charts give you instant visibility into growth trends for recipes and tasks. Whether you're in account-based, inbound, or outbound sales, outreach is an important tool for you to connect to your leads and customers. Now, with a new connector for outreach, you can build automations to ensure sales reps immediately reach out to hot leads, Quickly connect with leads when lead scores exceed a threshold, automate and personalize campaigns using segmentation data, and sync buyer intent data to drive higher conversions. When designing for event-driven architecture, you want to decouple your services so they are only aware of the event router, not each other, in order for them to scale and fail independently. This means your services are interoperable, but if one service has a failure, the rest will keep running. With Workado's connector for Confluent and Kafka, you can easily publish events from any business app, database, data warehouse, file, or other source. Additionally, you can consume events from the Kafka stream to create APIs or microservices, automations, or data pipelines. That wraps it up for this month's updates. Check out our newly refreshed product hub at product.workado.com to stay updated with product updates, best practices, and upcoming webinars.